Hello, I'm Sally Brown and I'm here at Keele University today as part of the Transforming Assessment Conference which links to the wider Higher Education Academy Transforming Assessment Project. I'm keynoting at the conference but I'm also taking part in all the other events and it's been fascinating this morning listening to the presentations by Keele staff about what they're doing really to help students engage better with assessment and feedback. I've been asked to encapsulate some of the things I really believe about assessment just in a few minutes. So I'm going to concentrate on three things. First of all, a fit for purpose approach to assessment. Secondly, talking a little bit about um, assessment for learning and then thinking about systemic approaches to assessment. First of all, fit for purpose assessment. I think it's a concept I've made my own, although I haven't actually created it in the first instance. And this is the means by which I think I'm asking everybody to consider when designing assessment and reviewing assessment, five key questions. What is it we're assessing? Is it process, practice, knowledge, understanding, skills? What are we assessing? How are we assessing? Are we assessing using um, exams, multiple choice questions, portfolios, wide variety of assessment. I listed 74 of those in one of the publications I did years ago with Peter Knight. And yet in the UK and a lot of places elsewhere, we really only concentrate on three main methods of assessment. That is uh, exams, unseen time constrained exams, essays and other forms of written report. Let's try a few more I think. So my next question is when are we assessing? Are we assessing when students still have time to learn from the experience or are we assessing when it fits our systems? Um, how are we assessing? Are we assessing using group work or are we assessing using computer-based assessment? And finally who is going to do the assessment? We've got to think through, is it the tutor doing most of the assessment? That's 95% of assessment in higher education is done by the tutor. Are we getting students to self-assess, to peer assess? Are we using employers? Are we using practice managers? Who can do the assessment? Far too often we over-rely on tutor assessment when actually if students are going to learn through assessment then they're going to need to engage in it themselves. Which takes me to my second second key point, which is how do we make sure that assessment is for, not just of learning. I think this means that we have to design assessment so that students actually engage in assessment tasks as part of the learning process. They need to see that assessment isn't just the last part of the process, an add-on at the end, but something that's completely integral. And in this I'm very dependent on the work of the um, Assessment Knowledge Exchange Settle at Oxford Brookes University and also the Assessment for Learning project at Northumbria. Both of these deeply illuminate, I think, the key questions around assessment for learning and ask us to think of practical ways in which assessment becomes part of the learning process, something actually deepens students' understanding of their own meta-learning. The third area I thought I'd talk about a little bit was this whole idea of systemic assessment. My worry is that far too often curriculum design is undertaken in a, a, a sort of cantonised way, just as Switzerland is made up of lots of self-autonomous cantons that don't work together. In a modular curriculum, it's all too easy for independent lecturers and course teams to just concentrate on a single module at a time. I'd rather see a much more holistic approach so that we can see a steady progression of skills, knowledge and understanding throughout the degree process rather than people just dealing with one item at a time. In this work again I'm learning a great deal from the work of the PASS project which was led at Bradford University by Peter Hartley. PASS stands for Programme Level Assessment and this asks course teams to really think about how they can make sure that the student experience is tracked through assessment through the whole of a degree course program so that they can build learning through assessment right the way through a program and that things integrate together. This also has the advantage of avoiding over-assessment, under-assessment and repeated assessment using the same things. Some courses that don't work systemically have, for example, five presentations in a single year and hardly any other work that would help students to develop and engage and demonstrate all kinds of other skills.
So overall, as the people here have heard me say today, I think assessment is absolutely critical to learning and that if we do it right we can really change not only the way students engage with the university but also their satisfaction levels and indeed their retention levels. So assessment for learning, assessment that is fit for purpose and assessment that is strategically designed and developed is what I would really like to leave Keele University as the things I'd like you to think some more about.